Hi, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today we'll learn how to crochet these sunburst earrings. So in order to crochet this project, you'll need two tiny earring hooks, um, about 10 yards of embroidery floss, uh, which for me ended up being a little more than one of these little rolls. Uh, you'll need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, um, scissors, and a needle to weave in your ends. And um, you don't technically need these. You could definitely open the earring hooks with your hands, um, but you can use jewelry pliers and those will make it easier. Um, these are needle nose pliers, but if you use the round ones too, that's okay. All right, cool. Um, let's get started working on our earrings. So to crochet these, um, we are going to start with a magic ring. Um, so you will make an X over your finger. You will put your crochet hook underneath the bottom strand and then over the top of the top strand of thread or floss. And then you'll kind of pull it through um, and this makes a loop. From there, we'll just chain two, um, and this will count as our first double crochet. And we are going to crochet 15 double crochets into our ring. So counting that starting chain, you'll end up with 16 stitches in the ring. And this will be a little bit tricky because the embroidery floss is so much more thin than yarn. Um, so it'll be a little bit tough to get used to if this is your first time crocheting with something this small. You can see, even though I've already made a couple pairs of these, it's still kind of like weird crocheting with this teeny hook um, and this teeny thread. <laughs> All right, so I have uh, my first couple double crochets in there. And as you go, you can tighten your magic ring by pulling on the extra thread and that'll kind of close it up. Uh, but just take a couple minutes to finish. Again, we're crocheting 15 more double crochets. Um, so you should have 16 total, and that counts that chain two that we started with. So go ahead and pause the video and just finish this first round. So once you finish crocheting, crocheting all 16 of your double crochets, you can join to the first one, well, the top of that starting chain with a slip stitch. And then you can use that adjustable string on your magic ring and pull that to close your ring. Um, you don't want to do it super tight or your the bottoms of your double crochets will kind of like overlap each other and start to look messy. So you want to make sure that's not happening. So just get it as tight as you can without kind of like a bunching in the middle. Um, but now we're ready for our second round. And this is actually the last round because these are just a super quick project. Um, so you'll begin by chaining two. And we are gonna be puff stitching. So to puff stitch, um, you'll yarn over, uh, put your hook into the first double crochet from the previous round, yarn over, pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, put your hook in, yarn over, pull through. So now you have two, four, five, and we are going for seven. So yarn over, Put your hook into the top of that double crochet, yarn over, 
pull through, and now we have two, four, six, seven loops on our hook. Um, so yarn over again, and you're going to pull it all through, even that last little one. And then you'll chain two. One chain kind of seals off your puff stitch, and the second one, like, separates it. And it also makes this kind of, like, wiggly border on our earrings. Okay, so I'll show you the puff stitch again. Um, we will yarn over, put the hook into the top of the stitch from the previous round, yarn over, pull through, that's three loops, yarn over, put your hook in, yarn over, and pull through. And then you'll yarn over again, put your hook in, yarn over, pull through, and that's our two, four, six, seven loops on our hook. So yarn over one last time, um, and then pull it all through. And sometimes the embroidery floss kind of splits, and if that happens, you just need to kind of wiggle the hook out. Um, and then we chain two to finish off that puff stitch. And you will continue to puff stitch all the way around the edge. So you should have 16 total puff stitches. Um, so go ahead and pause the video and work on your puff stitches for this last round. Okay, so once you've crocheted all 16 of your puff stitches, um, you'll chain your last two. And we are going to join to the first stitch with what's called an invisible join. Um, so trim the yarn, or in this case, embroidery floss. Pull your hook all the way through, um, like pulling out your whole piece of thread. And then we're going to join, that one's pretty small, we're going to join a sewing needle so that we can weave in our ends. Um, you might need to like lick your thread <laughs> a little bit. Um, embroidery floss has, it's like made of several smaller threads and it's getting really bunchy in my needle. Okay. So once you have your needle set up, um, you are going to do your invisible join. Um, you'll put it through the top of the first puff stitch right on top of that chain two. So you'll put your needle through both loops um, and pull it through. And then you will put it kind of in the same like hole that, <laughs> that it came out of um, and then just weave it through the stitch below it. Um, and this is just kind of getting you started with weaving in your ends. So you'll gently pull it. You want it to look like the V's at the top of all the stitches. Um, and I've kind of like messed mine up a little bit, but it'll flatten out. So finish weaving in your ends. I'm going to trim my yarn now, but just make sure that your stuff is really secure. So usually I do a better job of weaving. <laughs> all right, so now you have your earring. And really, this is all that it is. All we have to do now is just attach our earring loop. Um, so you will need your earring and oh, and your pliers. Um, or honestly, you'll be able to do this with just your finger too. Um, you'll just need to pop open this little loop 
on your earrings. So you'll just kind of gently pull it. Or again, totally possible to just do it with your fingers. So once your loop is open, um, you can join it literally anywhere on your uh, like a sunburst. I usually choose to do it kind of right where the puff stitches started. So like between that starting chain, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so you just hook this on. And then once your earring is on there, you're just gonna close the ring. So again, you can just use your fingers or you can use your jewelry pliers, but you'll just gently clamp it to secure it. And that is it. You'll just repeat the same process a second time so that you can have a pair of two earrings. Um, so I have these that I already made, this like kind of bluish pair um, and this pink pair and then half of this lighter blue pair. But um, that's it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss anything else from You Should Craft. But thanks, bye.